Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to do a thorough review on the Shimoda uh, 35 liter Explore V2 backpack. I'm also going to look at the Shimoda Carry On Roller V2. I'm going to show you why this uh, core unit ties these two bags together and makes it, in my humble opinion, the best uh, photography backpack or video backpack system on the market today. Now, this is the large DSLR V3 core unit that I'm going to cover. I'll tie these two bags together, show you how it works, show you why it's a great system, especially if you're doing a lot of airline travel. Uh, yeah, let's jump in and get to it. So the Shimoda camera backpacks caught my attention about a year ago, I guess. And so after some investigation, I decided to buy into the Shimoda system. I say buy in because purchasing the backpack and the roller is far from inexpensive, but I look at it as a great investment in some premium equipment that's going to last a lifetime. We've all heard the saying, you get what you pay for, and that definitely applies to Shimoda's products. I call their backpack and rollers a system because the one thing that really appealed to me was the way the backpacks integrated with their roller bags via the core units. This is something I just had to take a closer look at. Let's do that right now. Because I'm traveling more than ever these days, just a matter of time before I hear those dreaded words, I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to check that bag. That said, the Shimoda system coupled with a pleasant demeanor offers a way to get around this situation by allowing you to remove the core unit from the backpack and stow it under your seat or in the overhead bin. Yes, you might have to check the actual backpack, but hey, that's better than checking your entire kit of expensive gear and praying it arrives in one piece. I think I figured out a way to be prepared for this eventuality as well, and I'll share that with you later in the video. Let's start with the overall aesthetics of these products. I chose the black over the green and I'm very glad I did. When you look closely at the backpack, there's some really subtle black on gray green color changes throughout the bag, coupled with some really nice leather accents on the zipper pulls. I've watched Ian Miller's videos where he states we use only the finest materials and I can say with confidence, I found this to be quite truthful. This bag is absolutely gorgeous in my humble opinion and you'll hear me reiterate that sentiment throughout this video. Now that the looks are out of the way, let's dive into some of the more crucial elements of this backpack. If you've watched any of my other camera bag videos, you'll know that my number one pet peeve is bags that use dark colored interiors. This to me is a fundamental design flaw and I won't even consider a bag with a dark interior. Shimoda went with a robin's egg blue color for their interiors, which is bright and makes your gear easily visible, which makes losing smaller items because you can't see them a thing of the past. Huge thumbs up for that design element. The next design element, which can't be overlooked, is the attention to detail. I think, honestly, they've thought of everything with regards to the functionality of this bag, starting with the conveniently located grab handles everywhere you might need them in a day-to-day -day usage. Three key places worth noting is the top handle for pickup, the side handle to straddle your roller handle, and lastly, the bottom handle to make lifting the bag and moving it ultra convenient. Next up, you've got height adjustable shoulder straps that tuck away behind small zippered compartments at the top of the straps, which allow you to tailor the bag to your body size and shape for less fatigue when you're carrying heavy loads. Also at the top of the bag are load tensor straps that keep the bag close to your body, again, to reduce fatigue under load. The shoulder straps really are a work of art. They're wide, breathable, and comfortable with pockets for your iPhone, a microphone, a water bottle, or whatever else you care to put in them. You'll find adjuster straps at the bottom on both sides for fine tuning the pack's body fit. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the adjustable sternum strap with safety whistle. <laughs> Two loops are provided should you wish to hang your camera from the straps for quick access. The waist belt is removable should you wish to go urban style. It's extremely breathable, easy to remove, and you can also hang additional pouches should you wish to do so. My skin set pouches fit nicely on the belt sides, and it just adds to the overall convenience of this bag. On the left side of the bag, you've got two straps for securing a tripod with a genius pouch system, which can tuck away when not in use. You'll also find pockets for filters or smaller items, depending on your individual use cases. On the right side, again, more straps to secure a tripod with another pouch to hold the bottom of the tripod, but 
You also have a side panel to get quick access to your camera from the side should you need it. The core unit accommodates this as well. On the front of the bag, you'll find six additional loops with straps that come with the pack to allow you to secure a tripod across the front of the pack if you choose. You'll also find one bottom compartment for smaller items like a raincoat, a top compartment with a laptop sleeve big enough to fit my Dell 5550 if you prefer to carry the laptop away from your camera gear to balance the load. This compartment also has two transparent sleeves for things like passports. A small convenience loop is also provided at the top of the compartment to lift the bag when loading or unloading your kit. On the back panel of the bag, you'll find a 16 inch laptop sleeve that fits my Dell 5550 uh, perfectly, to be quite honest. On the inside of the bag is where the magic happens though. A 35 liter Explorer V2 can accommodate the larger DSLR V3 core unit, which is what I went with as I wanted to migrate back and forth from the carry-on V2, which will also accept the larger DSLR V3 core unit. So now we come to the part in our regularly scheduled programming where I share the main reason for the purchase of this bag, and it's not that the bag comes with a rain cover. When you purchase the large DSLR V3 core unit, it comes with a packing sleeve, if you will, such that in the event you need to check your backpack, you could remove the core unit in its sleeve and carry that onto the airplane. What I plan to do is keep a large plastic bag in the bottom of the backpack so I can drop the backpack itself into the plastic bag should I ever need to check the pack. It's likely that this will never happen, but it's better to have it than not. The core unit itself is fairly rigid, offering a decent amount of protection for your gear. And because it's two inches taller than the mirrorless core units, you can stand some lenses vertically to maximize your carry space. Okay guys, so what we've got here is the DSLR V3 core unit. You'll notice it's taller on one hand, shallower on the other. This is about two inches taller than the mirrorless core units and that allows you to hold your lens vertically gives you a little bit more uh, ability to maximize the capacity of the backpack or the roller so uh, the only other thing that i haven't mentioned is there's your side access panel i'll probably never use it to be completely honest with you but it's there if you want to use the bag that way the real key to the system is right here so this packing sleeve this goes like so, fairly easy to get on. Okay, if you're gonna go to the roller bag, here it is here. Just make a note, the handle's on this side. I open it up. If I'm going into the roller, I want the narrow end right towards the handle, like so. Close it up and away you go, pretty straightforward. Take it out the exact same way. Then if I'm doing the backpack, it's a little bit more work to get it into the backpack, but uh, if you're going to install it in the backpack, what you want to do, I know Ian Miller shows his video and I think he has the flap uh, on the other side, but I, I mean, I find I'm able to do it this way, um, having it like this. And what you want to do is just take the core unit and whoop, you just push it down inside the frame and basically shoehorn it into the bag. So I'm not gonna do it here. It takes a little bit of uh, wiggling around to do it, but Ian Miller's got a great video on it. So, but I mean, the other thing that I think is key to this system is that you can travel with the roller bag, have all your camera gear in the roller bag, and then when you get to your destination, you can simply take the core unit out, transfer it to the backpack. Now, the other thing is if you've got all your gear in the backpack and you hear those dreaded words, I'm sorry, sir, you're gonna have to check that bag. So then what you do is take this out of the backpack. This will definitely fit on the carry-on under your seat. Under your seat might be a little tight, but they'll definitely find room uh, in the carry-on for it. And then the only thing you have to check is your backpack. 
And so what I'll do is keep a large plastic bag. I'll slip this into the plastic bag. They'll put a label on it for you, tag it to where you're going. And then once you get to your destination, um, at least you know you're gonna have your backpack and you've got all your expensive gear on the plane with you, so everybody's happy. And just remember, be nice with the airline attendants. Uh, you'll, you know, you'll catch more bees with honey, treat them well, they'll treat you well. Okay, so if you're wondering what this backpack looks like when it's on, here we go. Thank you very much, Shimoda, for not eroding my confidence. This belt fit no problem. I had to make a slight adjustment here, but even for someone like me, I'm 64, 205 pounds, and I got the Photoshop muscle going on here, but still very active. Thank you very much. This backpack, oh my God, is the most comfortable backpack I've worn yet. Well done. I mean, I'm thoroughly impressed with this bag so far. This will be my short-term review. I'll be back probably in a year from now doing a longer term review, but uh, from what I've seen the bag so far, two thumbs up. I know we covered a ton of info in this review, but I thought it was necessary to do justice such a well thought out camera bag system. If you found this video useful or you have questions, please don't hesitate to connect in. You'll find some links in the description if you wanna make your own purchase and please subscribe, like, and ring the bell for me as it helps me raise awareness for these videos. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, man.